Okay, here we are. This is my 56 year old birth birthday and I decided to make one video every year on my birthday just to see how many birthday I'm going to get because we never know as Marcus Aurelius says, memento mori sees uh, the day and uh, you never know how many you're gonna get. So we will see how many I will get. Statistically at this point I have like 26 left. Hopefully with my diet and the way I live my life and uh, I will and my exercise regime and the way I think, the way I am, I might be and also with my genome that runs in my family, I might become very old. Right now actually I'm feeling kind of younger and younger. So the, the word or oh, the letter number of course 56 just feels absurd to me because for the last year at least or half a year or a year or two years I just kept feeling I would say for the last half a year at least since I came out of my involuntary um, uh, meditation resort I have just continuously start feeling younger because all the stresses of my shoulders, I'm starting to get really back into my work and I'm starting to look into the future and, you know, all, and also into all the projects that I am going to do. Human condition, art of painting, finishing unfinished work. You know, there's so many things I want to do that it kind of now just feels like I'm gonna flow into the sunset into what of course the way I see it will be uh, an infinite silence because I don't believe in an afterlife so yeah that's how it is for me now why make this video well because it's my birthday as I said but also to give some advice to some young artists out there. If there's some young artists out there, when I go back in time and I look at myself as a, as a young art student, and I started doing this when I was like 21 or 22, I was a total novice, and there's a video in my channel where I show my old works and how it all started. I'm not gonna go through all this. But I didn't know anything about this until I was 22. And uh, I was a welder actually in the shipyard and then I just started doing this and now I'm here, uh, artist, 56 years old. And it's over 30 years ago I started, over 30 years ago. And it it's just feels so strange uh, how fast this, this life went and how fast time goes. A while ago I was sitting in my... <laughs> my cell in my my resort yeah. <laughs> and were heartbroken I just were doing a lot of thinking a lot of personal work with myself and now I'm here I'm feeling good I'm free I'm it's just absurd and that is also why I don't feel the passing of time in the same way. I, I don't react to becoming 56. I'm starting to look forward to see how it is getting older and how I can use it and use the experience to make my life better and also leave something behind when I go that I can think I hope my last thought in life is, well, at least I made the world a little bit better with what I did and not worse. So, yeah. But anyway, back to that young artist. Don't think for a second you have a lot of time because you don't. Don't waste your time on too much partying, the wrong people try to go to stoic philosophy like Seneca, like Marcus Aurelius and, 
and become focused. If you have ADHD like me, go to the gym, get a very healthy diet, avoid sugar, avoid too much alcohol. And um, the less alcohol you drink, the better you will feel. And when you actually have some glasses of wine once in a while, it would actually be a plus, not a minus. So try to live like a true Stoic and work on that because what you are fighting, what you are fighting and every human being is fighting this and me personally, I'm fighting like crazy. I'm fighting the ape. I call it the ape. I think I'm going to make a video about my ape. Back in my mind, back in my brain, there is a old ape which has the traits of all my ancestors. The new brain is me. The ape is not really me. The ape is that fucked up things because my conscious mind wasn't strong enough to keep the voice of the ape down. And the ape leads to obesity, it leads to too much drinking, it leads to you uh, not being able to be in a relationship because you are promiscuous and you can't actually be faithful. Uh, it makes you lie, it makes you lie to yourself, which is probably the worst thing of all lies. The worst lie you have is to lie when you lie to yourself. Because true lying to yourself, it is what leads to all other lies. So lying to yourself and not being uh, able or willing to go deep into introspection and ask yourself some very serious questions leads to you lying to other people. So all lying comes from the first premise. The mother of all lies or lying to yourself. So if you can start being extremely honest with yourself, it will also manifest into your work because your work will also start becoming uh, honest, more honest. Every brushwork is honest. You see your faults, you see where you lack, where, where your skill wall is, you're not competing with every, anybody, any other artist or any other human being. You just, you just compete with yourself. You compete to become a better you. But first you have to battle that ape. And that is a continuous process. The ape will always try to fuck up. It's the ape to make you buy that chocolate you shouldn't buy. It is the ape who make you promiscuous, as I said. It is that ape that would ruin everything. It is the ape that led me to my situation. And it's my conscious self that will lead me back to, back on track for what will make my old self happy. And as they say, or I don't think it was Jordan Peterson who said her first time, or it comes from uh, Stoic philosophy. Be kind to your future self. Look into the future and look at what you do right now. How will this manifest into the future? And if you can think like that, you can actually basically start molding your own life in a direction where you would at least reach some goals. Because what you are also, also fighting is coincidences. You can be run over by a truck any day. You can be stabbed in the street. You can get cancer any, at any time. Anyone can get it. You can be healthy as a samurai, but you get cancer anyway. Okay. So try to think about how to make yourself better. I think one uh, my hero, Christopher Hitchens, he died when he was, I think it was 62 or something. He got uh, esophageal cancer. And when he got the cancer, he said, it's so predictable that it bores even me because his drinking and his smoking and stuff led to esophageal cancer. While he was dying, he um, was writing uh, a, mem uh, a memoir or, my, or he actually wrote his memoir 
right before he died and actually also has his signature in this and I'm quite proud of it. Uh, he also wrote the book Mortality while he was dying. He wasn't sure he was going to die of course, but he uh, he uh, uh, he managed to to have lectures and wrote a book and then he sadly died from the complications of the treatment in 2011, which was actually the same day that I buried my 100-year-old grandmother. So it was kind of a strange day sitting in a church, listening to a woman priest babbling about Jesus and salvation. And my then getting a message from my friend Torbjörn telling me that Christopher Hitchens had died. So I had actually two burials that day. But he reminds me, I'm, I'm 56 now, so if I became like 62, like him, uh, if it was 62 or 63, I'm not really sure right now, but you can look it up. I basically have four, five, six, seven years left to live. And there is, and that's why I have this plan until I'm 60, when I'm 60, I'm going to have everything done. Everything that I, I'm going to do every every the, every ambition should be on paper or on a canvas. And the most important thing to me is a couple of couple of exhibitions that I'm have in my mind, and the rest of it will just be flowing and make more. So that is my plan for my future. Maybe I get more kids. Maybe I. Uh, get cancer. Maybe I become a hundred. And then medicine right now are creating things that can prolong our lives, maybe even indefinitely. And as fast as this goes now, it actually seems like I can be inside that window of getting these new medicines that resets the whole body. And you actually don't age anymore. Or you also reduce the aging or you stop the aging process and you can get younger the best thing to do this is through diet and exercise and keeping a young mind having a lot of sex and um, at least and if you don't have a girlfriend do it with yourself avoid porn because it destroys you it's a filth please avoid that because it it's also that's the ape okay try to use your own fantasy and uh, live well and be happy. Now, if you want to support my channel, you can do that by binge, put on my videos, let them roll, up my, put a likes on my videos, and, and uh, of course, uh, share them on social media. And if you want to be incredibly sweet to me, you can go to my Patreon. There's a link on my channel and in the description. And you can sign up for a dollar or 15 or whatever you like. And I will do my best to teach you how to paint. There's uh, three tiers there now. We'll create some more. Uh, so with this, I wish myself a happy birthday. I wish you a nice day and, I, and a nice life. And if you're creative, keep on doing it. Because I didn't learn it from anyone. I learned it from my dead heroes, okay, like Rembrandt and all this, but I didn't learn to paint from a single person. So you can learn it from looking at art and doing, that's important. And one more thing, write diaries. There is nothing better than looking back on how you were and how you were thinking on different stages of your life. So, write a diary, write diaries. Not every day necessary, but write down your thoughts and be honest with yourself, okay? Write down even the worst parts of you. If you have some evilness in you, if you have some you struggle, write it down. Don't, don't, don't care about your how people, if anybody, when you're dead, read it. Just write down all 
all the stuff. Be honest, be an honest person. Because every single human being is struggling with something. Every human being has some evilness in them. Or every human being has some thoughts that are not necessarily good. But being conscious of these thoughts and being conscious of your shadow as Jung and Nietzsche and these people talk about is so important. It's so important for your honesty. So write, paint, eat the right food, exercise, and your life might turn good. And with this, I say cheers with my coffee cup, which is a, my favorite drug. And I wish you a fine farewell. Until next time, kisses.